Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So I've got queued up Bill Lawrence doing Red Sand. And I saw from the credits that um, Michael League and Sput are in this one. I have just um, become a really big fan of, of Bill Lawrence. So I'm really interested in uh, checking this video out. I saw a little snippet of it and I, I saw Michael League uh, doing a little solo and they're kind of trading solos and I thought, oh, okay, I'm gonna stop right there and rewind this thing to the beginning and watch it uh, as a reaction video. So I'm excited about getting into this one here. So without further ado, let's hit that play button. Portamento on that keyboard. This is that kick drum. That kick is recorded so well. Beautiful kick sound. Vibes, beautiful. Oh, got some strings in here. bottom of a bucket.
This recording is so, so nice in the headphones, man. Wow. So well recorded, produced. A great separation with all the instruments. so cool wow you know the thing that um, comes to mind right away is you know you've got Bill on playing the piano and you know he's still on the he's playing on the roads as well but you know what's interesting about this song and and I, I don't know enough of Bill's music to to, to know that he does this and other songs, but there's a very contemporary sound to the core instruments that he's playing with. Piano goes way back, electric piano goes way back. You know, you've got your standard electric bass and your drum kit, and you know, these things have been around for a long time. So when you're playing in, in a group like this, um, it, could, it could sound, you know, like we've all heard it before. So what I absolutely love about this tune um, are the elements that that he has put in, or, or or the players have put in, like in the synths, the sound of the synths. Like at the beginning, there's that really low synth, and it's really cool. It's a really contemporary sounding uh, keyboard sound to me, um, and like the other synth comes in, and it's got this portamento sound to it so uh he's starting to he's like taking it kind of like out of the realm of it being just another like combo sounding group with piano into being a more contemporary sounding group um with the percussion that he's using and uh the the stutter effect because there's this one part that goes to boom 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 like a skipped record. And, and then there's another part that was like, like a, a much faster stutter thing. Um, you know, these, these are more recording tricks or more contemporary style of, of, uh, of recording, having that kind of stuff in there. So it really keeps your interest. Um, you know, not, not to say that what he would do would be boring in any way, um, you know, because I've heard him just play piano by itself and it's absolutely some of the most beautiful playing I've ever heard in my life. Um, but for this kind of thing, it really is exciting, keeps you interested from the beginning to the end. Um, so that's that's really cool. Um, the recording of this song is phenomenal. It is absolutely beautiful. It's lush, the separation, the heavy, heavy, hard panning. I like that, I love hard panning. So. You've got really, really cool separation of the instruments and stuff going on, pan to each side, and it's kind of like uh, balanced and the parts are playing with each other, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, th I mean, if you're not listening to this with headphones, I suggest that you listen to the song um, with headphones on because it really does make a difference. Uh, really cool, had a little exotic feel to it also and um man it, it's so cool having those strings in there too you know underneath uh it's not overwhelming it's just lays a nice beautiful pad underneath um you know the piano stuff that's going on uh and lastly michael league is a badass bass player man you know up to this point i've only kind of seen him do uh, things on the bass, uh, you know, definitely riffs, um, you know, in, in between phrases, uh, you know, I've heard him do that. And then I've heard him kind of go nuts on uh, uh, the curtain. I think it's, I think it's, uh, I think it's that tune. Uh, but that was more for effect. This was a, a straight ahead kind of jazz 
solo um, that he was taking when he was trading with Bell. Um, and I haven't heard him play like that. And, and it's awesome to hear that he's got these chops. It's really, really fun. There's one section of his solo where he's doing um, these uh, double stops on the bass with, with two notes at a time. And he's, and he's, he's got this little, little double stop solo thing going on. It sounded beautiful. Awesome, awesome job. Anyway, um, I look forward to learning more about Bill's music and, and getting more into his stuff. I really, really like this tune. So thank you for tuning in with me. And... Come back for more, and we'll catch you next time. Bye.